today on an all-new Dr. Phil. Body language expert specializing in human behavior and facial recognition, Susan Constantine. Jury consultant, Susan Constantine. Jury consultant and body language expert, Susan Constantine, joins me now. Susan Constantine is a body language expert. Susan Constantine has trained police in picking up on involuntary movements. Got jury consultant and body language expert, Sue Constantine, with us. Uh, Susan Constantine, jury consultant, body language expert. Susan Constantine, body language expert. Susan Constantine, joining me now. She's a body language expert. So would you please welcome the author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Reading Body Language, Susan Constantine. Susan, it is so good to have you here. Thank you for inviting oh, me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Are you kidding? <laughs> Body language expert specializing in human behavior and facial recognition, Susan Constantine. Well, my general conclusion is when I looked at both the photographs, there was a high level of similarity. Looking at the hairline level, uh, on both photographs and comparing them, and the eyebrows, and then the eyelids, the lower lids. So there, there's multiple things that I saw that were similar, that to me, I thought there was a high level of probability that that could possibly be her. Susan, thank you for your time and expertise in this. Actions speak louder than words, so what are you really saying with your body? Mm -hmm. Here to help us decipher what you may be telling others is body language expert Susan Constantine. Hi, hey, Susan. Susan. How Good are morning. You? So what are some telltale signs uh, that someone's lying? Well, to, in order to find out if somebody's lying, first of all, the first thing we have to do is create a basic Baseline. How does someone normally respond in a normal situation when they're not under pressure? Susan Constantine has trained police in picking up on involuntary movements. For example, somebody takes their hand, comes over when they're telling a lie, and scratches the opposite side of the face. If not their face, their nose. So when you're about to tell a lie, 